Hey, welcome folks, it's Bob here. If you're not already subscribed, you may wanna consider pushing that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post a new video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some alternatives to installing a flange on a lead stub out or a lead bend, as I like to call it here in good old Brooklyn, New York. Now, I am old school, and when I run across a lead bend and uh, that's a little rotted on top, I still will solder a brass floor flange on top of it. But there are alternatives that a couple of colleagues of mine have said to me, Bob, you're crazy. You can use these two products. They work just as well. I don't know about that, but I actually bought them, so we're going to check them out. I know as a homeowner or a DIYer, it's not always feasible that you're going to solder a floor flange on. As a matter of fact, it's probably uh, undoable for you as a novice. But I'm going to bring up these two products from Odie, which are flanges actually designed to fit inside of four-inch cast iron. But uh, I have a lot of colleagues of mine that have used them in lead stubbots. So let's jump down to this bench here and check it out. All right, guys, first let me mention this. When I run across uh, uh, a loose toilet that I have to remove, and I see that the uh, top of the lead is somewhat questionable, but still viable, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna solder a floor flange on. And this is something that I wouldn't expect a DIYer or a homeowner to do, but that's what I still do. I carry these brass floor flanges with me, and that's just the way I roll. But it's been brought to my attention by a couple of my colleagues that, uh, the, you know, Odie, which is a company that makes plumbing specialties, actually make some flanges designed to fit inside of a four-inch cast iron that actually fit inside of uh, the four-inch lead. So we're going to check them out. Now, I understand they come in both four-inch size and three-inch size. I'm going to be featuring the four-inch in this video. So without further ado, let me... Uh, put my piece here. Actually, this piece is a piece I did uh, as part of practice for my uh, master plumber, my licensed master plumber's test, and I did a video on this. I'll leave a link above uh, in the cards for you to check it out if you'd like to do so. And I'm going to bring one of these products over, and uh, I'll show you how it works in cast iron, and then I'll take this piece of lead over and we'll, uh, we'll go over it. All right, before we go over and demonstrate these two products, these are the two products right here from Odie. Odie is a plumbing specialty company that makes all kind of cool stuff, so you might want to go check them out. All right, first up here, I'm going to show you the twist and seal. Very, very simple concept. Uh, this is a tapered, threaded flange, if you will, and I'm going to back this gasket off. And simply, as you screw the flange down deeper and deeper into the gasket, it expands the gasket, and the gasket expands up against the wall of the pipe thereby creating a uh, waterproof uh, leak seal. And this portion of the flange, bear in mind, I'm, I'm dealing with retrofits, existing bathrooms, and nine times out of 10, this is gonna sit on top of the finished floor. So that's where it's gonna sit. It could sit flush with the floor, you know, uh, but in my case, nine times out of 10, it's sitting on top of the floor. And simply put, as you put it into the pipe, they'll tell you, uh, actually, if you try to put it in now before it starts to expand, it's going to be very, very loose. They tell you in their instructions to kind of put it in on an angle and start to screw in the flange. And as the gasket expands, you can start to straighten it out, if you will. But what I do is I screw this in to a point where that gasket sits, just about sits up against the wall of the pipe. And uh, I will I will actually kind of jiggle it down, if you will. And then once I get it down to where I need it to go, I start I start whacking this thing up. And as this thing starts to go down, this gasket whacks up against the wall of the pipe. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that the slots for your flange bolts are where they need to be, meaning your your bolts will be perpendicular to one another. So you'll, you'll have a spot here where you can slide it in. You'll have a bolt here. And then you'll slide it in here and have a bolt here. Just make sure the bolts are where you need them to be. And the most important thing here is you have to put screws into the subfloor. Now, a lot of cases, there's, there's, there is no subfloor. Uh, but you do whatever you have to do. Even if you get one screw into something, 
Now, if it's a mud job, you're going to have to drill out a hole, put a plastic or a lead anchor in. If there's a subfloor of plywood, I would recommend uh, screwing it down in every hole you can get. And uh, I would use stainless steel screws. That's my personal uh, choice uh, when screwing these to the floor. But you don't want to just put this inside the pipe without securing the flange and expect that it's going to hold. So that's the, the screw, and, uh, screw and twist, I guess they call it. And the next one up is simply kind of same concept as with the rubber gasket, but this portion here is separate from here, and they incorporate three three sixteenths of an inch uh, stainless steel. Uh, they're like Allen key type of screws, and you would put this down inside of the pipe, and you start to alternately uh, screw those screws down. And they are gonna they're gonna pull up that bottom portion, thereby expanding the gasket, and it's gonna sit up against the wall of the pipe, and it's gonna work well. Again, this is gonna sit on top of the floor, on top of the finished floor. And uh, again, in this case, you could either use these two slots for your flange bolts, or again, you have a choice. You could you could put this in such a way where your bolts are perpendicular to one another. You put one here. You put one here. Make sure they're they're you know perpendicular. Measure from the back wall to the to the bolt. Make sure they're both in the same position. We want the toilet to sit square up against the wall. And again, you put it inside. This is probably a little easier because you can just slip it down inside the pipe and start to bear down the screws. Where the other one, you have to like jiggle it a little bit to get it to that sweet spot. But uh, with that said, let me just go over to the uh, my vice here and we'll kind of see how these things work. All right, so the first up here is this twist and seal. And again, like I told they tell you to kind of come in on an angle. And as you get it in there on an angle, start to twist it down so the gasket expands. And then as it expands, you can push it down. You can do that. That's fine. I find myself getting this to a sweet spot. I'll screw it up until it starts to, you see, I got that play in there, the way it's wiggling around. I will start to screw it in until I get a little resistance, a little better resistance. And then I will get it to a point where I will wiggle it down, wiggle it down, and uh, yeah, there, there we go, see? And then you could start to turn it. That eventually will expand that gasket to the point where it starts getting up against the wall of the pipe as it is now. And as you get tight, just bear in mind, you want to make sure your, your, your slots for your flange bolts are where you need them to be. Because this thing, let me tell you something, when this thing gets down, it is. It, I mean, I'm shaking the whole bench here. This is really, really tight. But I'm going to encourage you to use the holes, get as many screws as you can into the subfloor, because I wouldn't trust this to hold the, to hold the bolt. That's just my opinion. And if you if you, you can't get any screws in, make sure this is whacked down to the max. Put your bolts in, set your bowl in. You get a good quality uh, silicone seal around the edge of the bowl. Color of your choice. I personally like Pheno Seal, P-H-E-N-O-S-E-A-L. You'll seal that around the edge. You clean it up. You make it look nice and pretty. When that stuff dries, literally, the bowl's not going to move, you know, unless you've got the gorillas banging around on the toilet bowl. So that's the twist and set flange. And let me see if I can back this off so it'll come out. So there it comes. And then you, there you can see, there's the gasket. And this is a four-inch stub. And now we'll take the other one, which is actually a lot, lot simpler, if you will. So you just gotta, you gotta tighten, you gotta tighten those stainless steel screws. So this you can just put in, and you come in here with your three sixteenths inch Allen key, and you'll just alternately. Start to bear down on these screws. Again, make sure these slots are where you need them to be. So if you're going to use these two, use these two. If you're going to use these, make sure they're perpendicular. Measure off the back wall. Make sure they're, they're at the same distance. You want the toilet sitting flush. You don't want it sitting crooked. So you'll start to bear these down. As I bear these down, it's pulling up that plastic at the other end of this flange, and it's expanding that gasket. 
and that gasket is going to expand against the wall of the pipe uh, and eventually this is going to get to the point where you can't move it so let me do that now while you're watching this and you know what I got guys that are using this on lead rather than bothering with the soldering I tell you you know, I just did a video, this old dog learns new tricks on the fact that I just used pro press fittings for the first time. And you know what, guys? I mean, stuff is getting so simple. Stuff is getting, I'm so, I'm so ingrained with the old stuff that like, I kind of refuse to, to, to embrace the new stuff. And uh, this will make life much easier on a lead bend. I won't have to carry around solder and wiping cloths and all the rest of that stuff. So at, at, at some point, this is going to get to the point, and that's there, this thing, again, there goes my bench. Okay? And in both cases, in both cases, you should end up, you know, there's your finished floor. Okay? You're going to be on top of the floor like that in both cases. Because it's a retrofit. When I pull the ball, I'm just going to see a pipe sticking out of the floor. And there it is. And I can verify for you. Let me back this out. And then I'm going to take a piece of lead. Now, obviously, I can't bear down the lead in my vice here. But I'll do the best I can to show you that it works on lead. And I was like, how come I haven't been doing this? This is crazy. This is crazy. i got to embrace the new stuff, guys. So... These two items are going to be in my truck, and the next lead bend or the next rocky bowl that I come across of, and I, I see that the lead bend is viable, but the top is a little rotten. I think rather than get the soldering tools out, I think I'm just going to pop one of these in there and, uh, and see how it goes. Now, bear in mind, you know, the lead's got to be somewhat viable, and obviously you're not going to whack these to the moon like I do in cast iron because, you know, if you're doing it up against lead, you could quite possibly, you know, expand the lead and pop it. So I don't know if you can see that. You see the way the gas, you see the way the gas get expanded here? Actually, you see, because I got, I got that one screw is down, and I'll back that off. And you'll see that gasket start to, it'll, it'll flatten out, if you will, as I back this screw out. So, and these other two are just about ready to come out. But anyway, let me get this piece of lit, I mean this piece of cast iron out of here. Now, let me reset up the camera because I got a big piece of lead here. I may have to raise the camera, so hang on, I'll be right back. All right, here's a piece of lead. Now, I, I don't have this, I, obviously I can't bear it down on the vise, so I'm going to smash it. But same idea. So you're gonna come in here, and let me say this, with this twist and set, I would get your silicone grease and grease the bejesus out of this thing here. Not the outside of the gasket, the threads. So you're gonna start, you're gonna start that, and there's two sides to this. There's the side that you can, uh, there's like a female end and a male end. You don't wanna, you don't wanna, you wanna use the female side. So you're gonna to start to thread this, and just like the cast iron, you could, you could come in here in somewhat of an angle if you want to. Let me see if I can get this in here. I gotta get the, oh, there we go. And then, see what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start to twist it. And as I start to twist it, it's, the gasket's expanding until we get it to a point. You can cock it on an angle, a little bit of an angle, until this thing starts to screw in. And that gasket is expanding right now. And then you want to make sure you're down where you need to be. You want to be down flush with the floor. So if you have to back it off, back it off. Get it down on top of the floor. I'm sorry, not flush. And here I am. Now, this thing is... This thing is tight. Again, get these where you need them to be. Screw it to the subfloor. You're in business. Same thing, we're going to be here. This is where you're going to end up. So the flange is going to be sitting on top of the floor. Like that. Don't forget, this is a retrofit. I mean, when you remove the bowl and you remove the old flange, it's just going to be a pipe sticking out of the floor. So that's that one. And again, let's see, this piece of lead came out. Let me unscrew this. And you know what? I, I won't go through all the steps, but 
you'll get it with the other one. Same thing. You're going to come in here. You're going to drop this puppy in. Get your 3 16 inch Allen key. Line up, line up your slots. Make sure your flange bolts are where they need to be. You'll measure off the back wall. Make sure everything is square. You whack these down. Again, you know, be, be, use some common sense about it. This is lead. It's not cast iron. I mean, you can't drive these home into, uh, into, uh, in, in, into crazy land. And that's it, guys. So as an alternative to soldering lead, and trust me, the lead is not going to look this good. This is a brand new piece of, uh, an excess piece of lead that I cut off an existing uh, uh, new lead bin I installed. And that's it, guys. I mean, this is a great thing. I'm putting these two items in my truck. And the next loose toilet bowl I get a call on for. Uh, and if I find that the lead bin is viable, I'm going to leave it in there. And I'm going to use one of these flanges and save myself the soldering, the candle, the torch, the whole thing that goes along with soldering. I mean, I'm turning into a, a mamby-pamby, if you will. I learned the hard way. But you know what? Everything's easy today. So there you go, guys. What do you think? So guys, what did you think? Listen, there's no question about it. I'm putting these things in my truck and the next one's toilet bowl I come across. If, uh, if the application calls to uh, replace the flange, I'm going to use these puppy dogs. But I will leave links up above in the cards to, to show you a couple of videos I did on how I actually solder a floor flange on and the process I go through. Not for the DIYer. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. Maybe it encourages you to go out and get one of these things and actually try it yourself without having to call the plumber because you'll save a ton of money. Uh, listen, if you're not already subscribed, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post new videos. But the most important thing you can do is like these videos because if we get no thumbs up, YouTube just doesn't show these videos to anybody. They got a funky algorithm. And it's all based on the amount of likes these videos get. So, again, folks, if you have any requests, put them down below. I'll do my best to get these videos up. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Keep an eye out. I know a video is going to pop up here somewhere. Uh, you might want to click on that. Check out some other stuff I do. I look forward to seeing you once again. Stay well. And as always, happy plumbing.